Okay, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Barry Greenaway. I'm the product manager at Skyjack for our telehandler lines. It's my pleasure to introduce you today to our new Skyjack TH telehandler line. Uh, what I want to do is uh, talk a little first about what, uh, what we were aiming to do with the TH line, and then I'm going to take you through the features of our SJ843TH and the features of our SJ1056TH. Um, so Skyjack's been in the telehandler business for some years now with uh, two acquired product lines um, that we've had for uh, seven or eight years now. Um, <clears throat> moving forward into the future with the TH line has been a chance for us to do a clean sheet design and make our machine 100% a Skyjack unit and incorporate the features and design language that we're known for, our simply reliable ethos. Um, to that end, um, we've come up with a range of four products that will be available at launch, which is the end of 2015, start of 2016. Uh, the first is our SJ843 beside me here. It has a little brother, the SJ643, both 43 foot height capable machines, the six with a 6,000 pound capacity, the eight with an 8,000 pound capacity. Joining it on the upper end of the range, we have our SJ1044TH, 10,000 pound 44 foot machine, and our SJ1056TH, which is a 10,000 pound 56 foot machine. Um, so what I want to do, I'll take you through the features of the 843 here now and uh, discuss how that relates to how we do things at Skyjack and how it fits in with our AWP range. Okay, so starting from the front of our machine, uh, the first thing we did was we did want to carry over the carriages and the attachment points from the line that this is replacing, which is the Skyjack VR telehandler line, which we acquired from Volvo, who acquired it from Ingersoll Rand. So our existing VR customers are able to interchange their VR carriages with this machine. Um, part of the unique thing at the front end of this machine is how we operate our carriage tilt. You'll see in most telehandlers that the carriage level cylinder is in the bottom end of the yoke. What we do is we recess it within the yoke and it acts on the top end of the carriage instead of the bottom in order to protect it from operator mistreatment, from engaging it on the ground, from hitting walls of buildings that they're lifting onto, etc., etc. So it's fully protected within the yoke. Um, that also frees up an ideal spot for a new feature that's standard across the TH range is our lifting hook. Um, we were quite conscious of our customers and end users coming under increased scrutiny for safety on lifting suspended loads. And it's not acceptable anymore and never really has been to lift suspended loads by tying them over to forks. So all Skyjack telehandlers are now capable of uh, dealing with suspended loads as standard and not needing additional attachments to do so safely. This machine has an optional 72 inch swing carriage, which is available across the range. We have 48 to 72 inch tilt carriages as well, as well as the standard 48 to 72 inch floating pin carriage that's fixed. Um, in order to change carriages, we believe we're the simplest uh, in the market in order to do that. We have two short pins on each side secured with grenade pins that are always set up so that they're not they're just retention pins, they're not fully under load and can be removed with the carriage at any point. All our telehandlers, you need to carefully lift the load off these pins or there's one long pin that goes the whole way through or there's a spring retention system, what have you. These are extremely simple and very easy to remove and replace. Moving forward towards the rest of the machine, um, you'll see that this machine is equipped with our optional solid air um, airless tires. That's an option across the range. Standard tires are, are rough terrain tire available in air filled and foam filled. We have hard surface tires as well available in air filled and foam filled. Um, as you come across you'll see that the design language of this machine is very different from what is on uh, our previous VR. We have moved to a side mount design with the engine on the side underneath the cowling. Uh, what that's a, the, the driving force behind that was um, moving into Tier 4 Final, the space claim of engines and power plants has increased. 
really wasn't workable to get the serviceability we demand in a tier four final package in a mid mount or rear mount design. So I'll open the cowling here and take you through the, uh, the power plant. This is where we divert a little bit from uh, all our machines in the marketplace. First of all, if you're familiar with our booms, you'll be instantly familiar with our fiberglass cowling, which is considerably more rigid than plastic cowlings you'll find in all our designs. The key thing about the fiberglass cowling is that it's heat resistant and that it's repairable. So whenever you do get an end user damaging your cowling in the field, you can repair the cowling instead of throwing it away and having to buy a brand new one. As well as being repairable, it's much more resistant to damage as well. It's a much tougher cowling. We also back it up with a metal insert plate on the front and a metal guard to protect from uh, debris being thrown from the tires. Moving to the uh, power plant itself is where we, we do things very differently. Um, moving into tier four final has been a challenge for manufacturers, end users, fleet managers, everyone alike and the requirements of a DEF system or a DPF system really didn't fit in with uh, our simply reliable tagline. We've engineered these machines to operate exactly as you expect any telehandler to operate with a 74 horsepower power plant. So in the 6K and 8K you see this, uh, this engine here, the Deutsch TCD 2.9, a 74 horsepower engine with 220 pound-feet of torque. It's the torque figure that is important here. The machine has enough torque to easily lift its full load at idle, to maintain the function times, hydraulic speeds that you expect, and to put down the tractive effort, traction at the wheels, and great ability that you expect from any telehandler. The only sacrifice we made in order to achieve that was we reduced the top speed. So previous units were doing approximately 20 miles per hour. This unit travels at a maximum of 16 miles per hour. By making that gearing optimization, we've managed to not reduce our tractive effort and not reduce our great ability over previous 110 horsepower designs. Um, this was all made possible by close work together with our suppliers, obviously Deutz for the engine, Dana Transmission, and Dana axles, um, which was a, a key selection in the engineering process of this machine. We have a very strong history there of service and support and reliability for our customers. Um, you have a lot of space for servicing this engine. The engine tray is designed in mine to be common with the 10K, which is available with a 107 horse engine that has all the tier four final equipment. Uh, in this case, you have all that space available as access and tool carrying space. The TH range is also equipped with an automatic D-clutch on the service brake and the parking brake in order to decouple the transmission automatically when the operator is lifting a load so that when an operator forgets to take the machine out of gear and lifts a full load with the pedal to the floor, that the torque converter is not engaged and is not uh, decreasing its service life. So when we move to the rear of the engine bay, you'll see that we have a, a solid steel metal guard here protecting the radiator package. This guard has angled slats to prevent dirt, etc. being thrown from the tires, making it to the radiator, and to allow um, the, uh, the machine to be power washed without danger of bending radiator fins, etc. You'll see that we run our intake tube back to the rear of the machine and keep it outside of the engine bay. That is in order to allow the machine to always breathe cool air and not the hot, dusty air that's commonly found in, in engine bays. This allows us to be approved for running at ambient temperatures of well of, in excess of 120 degrees. Moving further to the rear of the machine, you'll see we have a, a different setup for our counterweight here. This machine is equipped with standard hitch pin for towing up to a 22,000 pound trailer. Um, that's suitable for job site towing and uh, whatever else uh, an end user would need to do with that. Uh, the uh, counterweight also protects the rear cylinder, which is the carriage level compensation cylinder. That's fully protected within there and there's service hole access within the counterweight in order to remove the pin and service that cylinder should that be required. 
So moving to the left rear of the machine, we have our air filter housing set aside in this location with an easy open door with full access to change the air filter um, without having to get past anything that would normally be found in an engine bay. You have some access to uh, hydraulic components in the rear, full access to the hydraulic bulkhead in the rear as well. Underneath our steel metal panels at the rear, we have our main hydraulic manifold on this machine. One of the key differences we made from the, uh, the acquired VR product was grouping everything together into a single easy to service manifold. This manifold has etching on it, describing all the valves, test ports, onboard test ports that are standard in order to easily troubleshoot a machine with hydraulic issues in the field. Moving to the hydraulic cylinders, we have uh, our hydraulic cylinders are mounted on self-aligning bearings instead of bushings for greater service life. We have twin lift uh, cylinders with counterbalance valves to ensure smooth operation and no boom bounce at full stroke. We also made sure that we moved the hydraulic extension cylinder outside to underneath the boom in order to allow for better service access to components inside the boom. This has greatly reduced the time required in order to service a burst hose in the boom or service replacing a shiv in the boom, etc., by allowing a lot more service access and completely removing the need to ever disassemble the boom to replace such a component. Moving around to the cab of the machine, we, uh, we have a North American company that designed this cab specifically for our requirements for the TH project. This cab is a lot roomier than uh, what we've had before, significantly more entrance room with the, you know, the uh, rubber mounted step. We have ease of access that uh, is unrivaled. The important thing for this cab from a return on investment standpoint is that all the glass in it is bolt on and clamp replacement and it is all flat glass with no specially designed curved pieces. This greatly reduces the cost of replacement panels and, reduce and eliminates the need for a specialist glass company to come out and re-urethane in replacement panels etc. What it also allows, it allows a fleet manager the flexibility to retrofit an open cab into a closed cab with only one or two hours worth of work at, uh, at the rental yard. Is easily installed with the heater system and uh, installing individual glass panels. On our open cab, the right hand glass is a solid piece and is standard. The rear hand, uh, the, the rearward glass is standard with the wiper washer combo as well. In terms of operation and controls, if you can drive any other telehandler in the market, you know how to drive the Skyjack already. Our single joystick control is intuitive and easy to operate. We have a trigger switch to convert to frame level mode, frame level left, frame level right. We have a thumb switch for carriage uh, level, so carriage level down, carriage level up. And by doing it this way, we give the operator full proportional control for slowly moving the carriage as required. We have the thumb switch for auxiliary hydraulic one way, auxiliary hydraulic the other way, and then the standard forward down, backward up and uh, extend retract boom controls. Moving to the control panels, everything is clearly labeled. You have your four steer modes for coordinated, crab and, and front wheel steer, park and brake controls, window, wa window washer controls and uh, outrigger blank controls for, uh, for machines equipped with such. Road light controls again for machines equipped with that. Machines are equipped as standard with a Deutz multifunction display. This is to allow service techs to be able to pull any engine trouble codes and the descriptions of that code without requirement for specialist software or laptops. However, we do have a diagnostic port available if, uh, if the uh, service tech wishes to, to use it that way. All the steel panels on this uh, plastic dash are removable, giving access to our relay-based and hardwired control system. So just like our booms and our scissors, everything on this machine is controlled with relays and point-to-point -point wiring. The only computer on this machine is the engine control unit. Underneath the dash, we have a large removable steel panel that gives full access to the steering orbital that allows it to be removed as a single unit. 
On this closed cab machine, we have a sliding side window, we have a split top window, and we have a glass lower panel allowing visibility out to the side to ensure that you won't uh, run into anything over at the side of the machine. We have a centrally mounted hydraulic tank between the engine bay and cab with a main fill in the middle of the tank and a service fill at the rear of the tank that can be topped up without having to climb on top of the machine. Moving forward, we have a toolless removable panel for access to the battery should any jump starts or battery replacement be required and you have full access to that with the boom in the stowed position. This panel is removable and allows you access to tilt sensor and uh, electrical controls under this section. I say tilt sensor because one of the features of this machine is whenever you raise the boom to 40 degrees or higher, it automatically limits frame level to plus or minus 4 degrees and puts the frame level into a slow mode. It will also prevent the operator from lifting the boom beyond 40 degrees if the machine is tilted beyond 4 degrees. So here you have a better view of our underslung mounted uh, cylinder which is uh, consistent throughout the whole TH range. You can see the service access that you have there to remove that or service seals etc should that be required. Uh, moving forward you'll see uh, we have auxiliary hydraulics on this machine. Auxiliary hydraulics has been made standard throughout the entire TH range and it's achieved with quick disconnects that do not require depressurization to remove. Thank you for reviewing uh, the Skyjack TH range with me today. For further information, please visit www.skyjack.com or contact your local Skyjack dealer or Skyjack sales representative.